Welcome back ladies and gents. In this teaching video I'm looking at 6.2, the binomial distribution. Now 6.2 represents chapter 6, section 2 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Applied Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. A discrete random variable capital X takes on a binomial distribution. We write capital X takes on a binomial distribution with fixed number of trials n and fixed probability p if four conditions are satisfied. Number one, there are a fixed number of trials denoted by n. Number two, there are two possible outcomes, success or failure. Number three, there is a fixed probability of success denoted by P. And number four, the trials are independent of each other. Now the discrete random variable capital X takes on the values 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on up until N. We have N trials. Probability capital X equal lowercase r is calculated in two possible ways. Number one, we can calculate it using the binomial PD function in our class with calculator. Number two, we can calculate it using this particular formula, which reads as n choose r multiplied by p to the power r multiplied by 1 minus p in brackets to the power n minus r. Now, probability capital X is less than or equal to lowercase r is called a cumulative probability and is calculated using the binomial CD function in our class with calculator. So these are all the key facts. Now I'm going to be applying these key facts to two exam style questions. Here is exam style question one. Okay, the probability of a switch being faulty is 0.08 a random sample of 10 switches is taken from the production line. Part A, define a suitable distribution to model the number of faulty switches in this sample and justify your choice. So let's have a look at part A. The first step is to define a random variable. So let capital X be the number of faulty switches in a sample of 10 switches. So we have that x takes on a binomial distribution. We have 10 switches, so the number of trials is 10. And the probability of a switch being faulty is 0 0.08. So p is equal to 0 0.08. Now we need to justify why capital X takes on a binomial distribution. So let's go through the conditions. Number one, there are a fixed number of trials, okay, denoted by n. We have 10 switches. Number two, there are two possible outcomes. So we could either have faulty or not faulty. Number three, there is a fixed probability. Okay, so we have a fixed probability. There is a fixed probability denoted by P. So the probability of a switch being faulty is 0.08. Number four, the trials are independent of each other. There you go, we have justified our choice of using a binomial distribution to model this situation. Let's have a look at part B. Now in part B, we want to find the probability that the sample contains three faulty switches. So probability that we're trying to calculate is the probability x equal 3, okay? Exactly three faulty switches. So we can calculate this in two possible ways. Either use the binomial PD function in our class with calculator or apply this particular formula. So the most efficient method is to use the binomial PD function in our class with calculator. So we have n equal 10 p equal 0 0.08 and lowercase in this case is equal to 3. So now I'm going to show you how to use the binomial PD function in the class with calculator in order to calculate this particular probability. 
So we have that x has a binomial distribution with 10 trials and fixed probability 0.08. We want to calculate the probability that capital X is equal to 3. This is what we need to do. We press menu. We scroll down to number 7. Press equal. And then we press number 4, binomial PD. Number 2, variable. The lowercase x is 3. The n is 10 and the p is 0 0.08. We press equal, then we press equal again. So this is the probability. If we round off to four decimal places, we get 0 0.0343. So ladies and gents, using the binomial PD function in our class with calculator gives us probability capital X equal 3 is equal to 0 0.0343 to four decimal places. This completes exam style question one. Here is exam style question two. A dice is biased so that the probability of it landing on a six is 0 0.3. Hannah rolls the dice 15 times. Part A, state any assumptions that are required to model the number of sixes as a binomial distribution. State the distribution. So let's have a look at part A. The first step is to define a random variable. So we can write let capital X be the number of sixes rolled when a biased dice is rolled 15 times. So we know that x takes on a binomial distribution, so we can write x takes on a binomial distribution. The number of trials is 15, so n is equal 15. And the fixed probability is 0 0.3, the probability of rolling a 6. So p is equal to 0 0.3. Now we need to justify our choice of using a binomial distribution to model this situation. We can do that. Number one, there are a fixed number of trials. n equal 15. We roll the dice 15 times. Number two, there are two possible outcomes so we can get a six or not six okay these are our two possible outcomes and number three there is a fixed probability p equal the probability of rolling a six which is 0 0.3 and number four the trials are independent of each other. Okay, so these are our four conditions that are satisfied. So it's absolutely fine to use a binomial distribution in order to model this scenario. Let's have a look at part B. Now in part B it says find the probability that Hannah rolls exactly four sixes. So we're working out the probability that x is equal to four. This is the probability that we are after. Now we've got n equal 15, p equal 0 0.3. Our lowercase x in this scenario is 4. We are now going to use the binomial PD function in our class with calculator in order to calculate this probability. So we have that x has a binomial distribution with 15 trials and fixed probability 0 0.3. We want to calculate the probability that capital X is equal to 4. So we press menu. We scroll down to number 7, which is distribution. We can press equal. Then number 4, binomial PD. Number 2, variable. Okay, so the lowercase x is 4. The n is 15. And the p is 0 0.3. We press equal and equal again. This is the probability. If we round off to four decimal places, we get 0 0.2186. Okay, so using the binomial PD function, we get that this probability is equal to 0 0.2186 to four decimal places. Let's have a look at part C. Find the probability that Hannah rolls two or fewer sixes. So in part C, 
we are working out the probability of rolling two or less sixes. So we have probability x is less than or equal to two. Now, whenever we have x equal, for equal, we use binomial PD. But whenever we have x less than or equal, so less than or equal, we use binomial CD. So to calculate this probability, we're going to use the binomial CD function in our class with calculator. So what do we have here? Well, first of all, we know that n is equal to 15, p is equal to 0 0.3, and in this case, the lowercase x is equal to 2. So now we're going to be using the binomial CD function in our class with calculator in order to calculate this particular probability. Okay, so now we want to calculate the probability that capital X is less than or equal to 2. So we press menu, we scroll down to number 7, distribution, and we press equal. We want to find the binomial CD function. It's not here at the moment. We must scroll down. There it is, binomial CD. We press number 1, number 2, which is variable, and now we input the variables. So lowercase x is 2. Uh, the n is 15 and the p is 0 0.3. We press equal and then equal again. This is what we get. So to four decimal places, we have 0 0.1268. Okay, so ladies and gents, using the binomial CD function, we get that this probability is equal to 0 0.1268 to four decimal places. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video 6.2, the binomial distribution. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a teaching video.